Alright. Welcome to another game of Dead by Daylight. Um, I've been slacking on the Evil Dead content. Because, honestly, I'm kind of getting burned out of that game. I have some issues with it, but... I actually like it more than this game. But I'm playing this again just to switch things up just a little bit. Um, this is the Dredge, and I've been enjoying him a lot. He actually brings something to the table that's like jump scares. <clears throat> like, he feels like a horror icon and not just like Nurse or Blight or it's just, oh, look how skilled I am kind of thing. Anyways, as you can see, I am playing against some um, gen rushers in this case. And the build that I have is, I guess the meta for now, they're going to nerf Eruption because um, Behavior doesn't want to see killers doing well. But the idea here is gen defense. So I have Sadako's Call of Brine, which knocks down the generator quickly, like Old Ruin used to be before they nerfed it. Um, I have nowhere to hide so that anyone that's in the area I can pursue and mess with so that Call of Brian can do its thing. And then I have Eruption, which is um, the perk that's soon to be nerfed, but anytime you down a survivor, basically, um, it will make the, the survivor incapacitated. And then the last one is Deadlock. So that I can't get gen rush too quickly. So yeah, I've put this game off for like a year or something, but decided to go back to it. Here I am. Blang is the the killer that was new to me. That I didn't I didn't really play when I was young. Uh, or not young. When he came out, which was the dredge. And I gotta say, the dredge is fun. The dredge is cool. Like, playing against him as a survivor, too, it it's nice. It feels like a horror game. Which is what this should be. So, the two add-ons I got, so far, I haven't experimented too much with the Dredge, but these seem like his two best add-ons, which is the doll, the green doll thing, which basically extends your um, Nightfall, which makes the survivors oblivious. And then there's the uh, Skull. I don't know exactly what it's called, but what it does is everyone that's injured it does increase like the um the nightfall pretty much so my idea here is very nightfall related it seems to be as um it seems to be a good way to catch survivors off guard i mean um he can teleport a little faster which is nice but in my experience it's a great way to just catch people off guard so here's what I'm doing in action. Um, Call of Brian right now is regressing the generator. Nowhere to hide. I can see where these clowns are. And eruption, so once I get it down, then it um, then it's gonna kill that for them. So they're working on that gen now, but I kinda wanna secure it down, even though she is running me to kill her shack. Anyway, the state of this game, um, Dead by Daylight is a game that I love and hate. They have so much going for them, but they also somehow fuck it up. 
I will give Evil Dead credit because they tried a new game style. I played it just a little bit. I'm not really a Fortnite fan, but um, they tried making a battle royale, which is cool. This game is three hooks, five generators, and there's four survivors, so three times four is 12. And <laughs> that's what the game is. They don't change anything about the game. They don't make it different. They don't really care to make it different. They're just doing their own thing with it. So, what's going to happen? Well, they're going to nerf Eruption, which is currently the, the meta. Currently one of the best uh, perks for killer. Which is bullshit, in my opinion. Because you have to hit a generator, and then you have to down a survivor. I think that the the power that it gives is pretty earned. But behavior and their wisdom don't want killers to succeed. They want them to um, to basically be dancing monkeys for their survivors. And if you think about it economically, uh, survivors make up 80% of their their buying base. There's people that play nothing but survivor which is crazy in my book, but there's people that play nothing but Survivor, and they're the ones doing most of the purchases when it comes to their online store. Maybe I can see you, love. So, behavior, their mo their business model is basically to pander to the majority of their base. Killers aren't the majority of their base, so, you know, fuck them. We're gonna nerf Eruption, like we nerfed, um... Uh, Corrupt Intervention, and we nerfed uh, was it, Ruin, and they made uh, Borrowed Time one of the best perks ever, beat, like, base kit, and they're going to make, um, they're talking about making a breakable base kit. It just shows you where the killers, or where the developers' passions lie. They want to, um, they want to make this very, very survivor-friendly. Because right now I'm playing a mid kind of team, but when you play against high-ranking teams, <laughs> you need a slug sometimes just to get to this, just to secure the victory. That's a reassurance. So that's a new perk by Rebecca from Resident Evil. I'm gonna let them have that, and I'm going to take them away from this. She actually ran away, but um, the Meg here is still staying around. Or no, Mia number three, my bad. So you see what my perk is doing here, or my, uh, my build here. I want the, g the generator to, re to regress, and this is the best way for that I can think of to do it. Um, basically, it regresses at 200% with Sadako's thing. And nowhere to hide, I can scare them off of it so that they don't fuck with it. Try to wait out a dead hard. And they did give dead hard a slight nerf where it doesn't like pass over things invincibly, but at the same time, they, uh, dead hard is still very common because it's still the OP perk for a survivor. So this is the state of killer. When you're not in a in a game where the survivors are absolutely new, your build has to be completely centered around gen defense. I see you. I'm trying to body block, but it's not gonna work. And you fucked that up, so I'm gonna get you down. That's the beauty of a uh, eruption right there. Is just how it how it regresses something you've already hit, like a generator you've already hit. So while they're tr while these two are trying to put pressure with the uh, unhooking and everything. 
I'm trying to put pressure with uh, just generators in general. I'm trying to keep them off it. But yeah, they're gonna make they're gonna make unbreakable base kit, and they're gonna make uh, they're gonna nerf eruption like. All I'm saying is Texas Chainsaw Massacre can't come out soon enough. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, the Dredge is, he's a cool killer. He's somebody who's, who's got a presence. They're not weak, like the other killers I like are kind of weak, especially Pig. But he's not a weak killer, he's pretty strong. And he has a lot of power to basically do, um, basically do a lot of things. Map traversal being one of them. Um, you know, darkness being another one. So now they're working on this gen. Somebody at least is. But this is the gen they're hard targeting. The nice thing about survivors is they are predictable. And I think eruption saved my ass right there. Had I not had eruption, they would have completed that in my face. Yeah, fuck you. But they would have completed that in my face. And that would have been um, that would have been game right there. So if you're wondering why I'm being a meta slave right now and using like all the meta perks, that's exactly why. Because frankly, you have to. In this game, if you're gonna if you're gonna do anything as killer, if you're gonna be effective. You have to be. You have to be running the gen defense perks. My gamer didn't work. There they are. They can't resist that generator. It's like crack cocaine to them. That's right, die. They're so desperate to rush it. Like, if I didn't have these perks, I would have lost by now, because that's what they're used to, is people, is killers running nice perks that, like, kind of change up things a little bit. That's what they're used to, and that's what they're expecting when they're trying to do a generator in my fucking face. So, if you're a killer, and you're frustrated with this game like I am, try this meta out. You're gonna regress the fuck out of generators, and any time that they try to do their goofy shit, you're gonna, you're gonna be around, and you're gonna see their auras with nowhere to hide. It's currently kind of my go-to. Deadlock is a little interchangeable, but the other three are great. Um, Eruption, Nowhere to Hide, and Call of Brian are all great. But yeah, so they all try to agree the generator in my face. I got three of them. And now it's looking like it's going to be a hatch game. Oh yeah, in the very beginning they put an offering that the hatch will appear at Killer Shack. There it is. Yeah, that's this game now. Still, Dredge is really fun. I like killers like Dredge or Pig who um, have a jump scare element to them and have, an horror, have a horror element to them. And, yeah, he's a lot of fun. So there's, there's a key they're using. Like, fuck, that got nerfed. And, yeah, that's it. Take care.